Hi Capricorn. Happy birthday. Welcome to your January 2024 reading. Um, whew, so I did your rising sign astrology that will be published for Patreon on January 1st. And January, as we like begin January, there's sort of a feeling of not really feeling good enough or not really, you know, being good enough, you know, as you're coming into this new year. And then something really, like things really start changing for you as we get through um, January. And there's this January feels like showing up for yourself. That's the best way for me to say it. January feels like showing up for yourself. And in so many ways, Capricorn, oh my God. <laughs> um, I, okay, so I turned over the tower. This was actually the first card that came out and it was face down like this. And I was like, it's the only card that was face down that I wasn't supposed to look at. It was a tower. This is the energy of you coming into the year. And I think this is very internal. Um, sorry, I think that there's something that's happening right now in your life. And it could be with a fire sign. Um, we have the five of cups and we have the queen of wands. Um, and it, I, I feel like there's some kind of like grief, I want to say, or there's something that you are healing about this fire sign. Now, this could be the energy coming from December into January also. Like this really could have been something where you had... Because December was a, a total breakdown for you guys. Like you guys were completely like broken down into little tiny pieces and then put back together again, right? Like that, that's basically like it was, you know. Um, and then we have the seven of cups and then we have the eight of pentacles. Whatever was broken down with this fire sign and whatever it is that you're grieving now, there's a, um, there's space that's opening up and there are opportunities that are coming in. Part of me wants to say that you're just going to like put your head down and just work and like not focus on anything else and just pay attention to work, you know, and just, that's it, right? I don't think that you're going to be able to avoid this by staying busy, Capricorn. I don't think that this, you know, it's like, I don't think that by you, um, you know, going extra into yourself and like avoiding really looking at the situation, I feel like that, I don't think it's going to work. I think that this is something that you're really going to have to look at and process because there's a lot of emotions involved with this five of cups and the seven of cups. There's a lot of emotions involved and it's time to rebuild. Right. And part of me feels like you think that just by ignoring it and focusing on what you need to do, there will be a rebuilding process that happens. Um, so let's take a look the tower. Because I think that it feels like this energy that's showing up for you is independence. And it's, you know, it's like being there for yourself. And um, look at that. Look at you being at the bottom of the deck. The devil at the bottom of the deck. Showing up in your reading. Welcome, Capricorn. Welcome, welcome. See, this is the thing.
I feel like whatever had to crumble, it was time, judgment on the tower. Whatever that foundation was that needed to come apart could have been belief systems too. That's a really hard one. Um, but I feel like it, it you know, if this, um, this feels very much like there was an ending to something. And I think that sometimes you are overthinking the grief parts too. Like I think that sometimes you like look back, you know, you kind of like, what could I have done in the past to change things? And there's nothing. Ten of swords on the five of cups. I don't want you to wallow in the grief. I want you to process the grief. And I think that by processing that grief, that is where um, you really start to shine, is when you process that grief. You have a decision to make about the Queen of Wands, about this fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, could be any of those, could be somebody, I also have a water sign down here too. Um, I feel like the water sign is more your energy, though, to be quite honest. But on the six of wands and the two of wands, I feel like you are trying to decide what to do with this person. And I got to say, I want to say that no matter what you do about the situation or about this person, I feel like you're going to succeed. Like, I feel like you're going to be successful. I feel like things are going to be fine. I feel like everything is going to turn out well no matter what that choice is whether you decide to walk away whether you decide to stay and fix it and i think that that's what you're afraid of because you're like well am i walking away from a really good thing that could be fixed see that's the thing is you have to decide what's good for you and what's right for you i can't do that i can tell you that it's fixable I can tell you that whatever had to change in that relationship or whatever part of the foundation of the relationship, it needed to change. I feel like a lot of you are going, I feel like the decision that you're going to make, the successful decision that you're going to make is by choosing yourself, the nine of pentacles on the seven of cups. When it comes down to it, at the end of the day, that independence and that abundance for yourself, um, this is that's kind of where the sweet stuff is. So I feel like there's I feel like you're moving on from an ending, and I feel like it was a really painful ending. And I almost want to say that the ending has almost, in a way, created freedom from you as well, created freedom for you as well. Um, the King of Cups on the Eight of Pentacles. I just don't think you're going to be able to hide your emotions behind the work. I think you're going to be very emotional in January. And I think that it's necessary to process whatever it is that you are moving through right now. Um, Uranus turns stations direct in, in, you know, in January and um, Pluto will ingress Aquarius. Pluto's at that 29th degree until the 20th of January. So there's a lot and it's at 29th degree of Capricorn, sorry, at, until the end of January or until the 20th of January. Um, bottom of the deck, we have, woo, we have the devil, the three of swords, the nine of cups, woof, seven of pentacles in the world, the devil. I'm hearing lessons in love. These are lessons in love. 
You know, one thing I've learned, Capricorn, about love. Whew, okay. One thing I've learned about love is it's all worth it. Even the painful stuff is worth it. Because in that painful part, in the stuff that breaks you, you learn. And the stuff that empowers you, you learn too, right? So even in that painful part, love still exists there because the pain wouldn't be there if the love wouldn't have been there first. Love can turn into jealousy real fast and possession and obsession real fast. So the lessons in love that you're, the lessons in, in, in having your heart broken and then having to mend it, well, that's part of life. Those are the challenges of life because love is in all of it. Love is in the heartbreak and the pain and the sorrow and the sadness and the transformation. And it's also in all the beauty, right? It's in, it's in all of those sunrises and sunsets and, you know, the joys of a baby laughing. And, you know, meeting your person for the very first time or hearing their voice, voice for the first time, love is in all of that too. But if you don't experience the painful parts, sometimes it's harder to appreciate the really good parts of love. Um, because all, we learn, we, we learn about ourselves and we learn about others through love, through all of it. So there are things that you want to do this year, Capricorn. And that's what I want you to focus on. I want you seven of pentacles and nine of cups. I want you to focus on planting the seeds for the way you want to see 2024 go for you. It may not be perfect, but there's a lot of um, opportunity to bring change and abundance into your life. And we have the world with the Empress. Um, so the world is about closing chapters. And the empress is creation herself. She is the beginning. This could be closing a chapter with a Taurus. This could be closing a chapter with um, just a Venetian person in general. Um, but I feel like this is the ending and the beginning of something new. I feel like the lessons that you're learning, you've learned and you're still learning are the beginning and ending of something new. And I think it's going to be pretty significant for you. So I love you, Capricorn. I hope you have a really, really wonderful January. Happy birthday to my January Capricorns. Take extra, extra good care of yourselves. And I will see you very soon. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.